Hi, it's Miss Lawrence. So today we're going to make a little character to sit on your shoulder while you have your class virtual meetings. Um, that way you're not alone. Yeah, you got a little friend with you while you meet with your class. So this is my monkey. All I did is I drew a monkey. I colored him, I cut him out of paper, and I taped a chopstick on the back so it can stick into the back of between my couch cushions. You could also even put him in your shirt while you meet. Um, you could use a pencil or marker or something else to hold him up if you don't have a chopstick in your house. All right, so I'm gonna stick him back in the couch there. All right, so you, I'm gonna make something silly today. I'm gonna make a shark that looks like it's about to eat my head while I'm in my class meetings. So I have a big paper. Uh, if you have a smaller one, you can make a smaller shark. You can even tape two pieces together if you wanna make a big shark or three pieces, make a giant shark. So I'm gonna start with a big oval shape. I'll put this one here. Big <laughs> oval shape. I'm gonna add the shark tail. I'm gonna add the shark fin. I'm gonna add another shark fin here. All right, now I have to open his mouth. So I'm gonna erase this part of the oval. He is going to open his mouth and have big shark teeth. And I'm gonna add shark teeth. Zigzags all the way around. And his eye. And then you can color him. Um, you can shade him with your pencil. I'll just shade him a little gray. You can get your crayons out and add some color to your shark. I'm gonna make his tail a little bit more pointy here. And shade him all the way, the gray shark. So don't forget fin on the side. And I'll let him a little fin on the top, fin on the back. All right, now he's shaded. I'm gonna take my shark and I'm gonna cut him out. Let's start here on the back. Cut around the shape of him. Some of your, this guy might need two chopsticks to hold him up. So if you have a couple, pair of chopsticks. I'm first gonna go around the teeth this way and then I can cut zigzag inside the teeth. That's a lot of cutting. So do your best to follow this shape. Cut away some of the extra so it's not in your way. No more cutting. Cutting around. All right, so there's my shark. Now I want to cut in around the teeth. So I'm just going to go zig, cutting out zigzag. Zigzag. Zig. And it's a lot similar to the way I drew it, just going up and down, little triangles around the teeth. Up, down. Shark has a lot of teeth. So I'm gonna go around. And you don't have to go exactly around the teeth that you drew. You can always erase if you see the little lines that are not how you cut, but I wanna get it. Cut that away, almost done. I'm gonna turn this so it's easier cutting from here. Cutting a little triangles. And one more. All right, so there, I've cut around the mouth of my shark, all the way around. I'm gonna take my chopstick, turn my shark over. I'm gonna put it on the back, up a little bit here so it doesn't flop too much. Put a piece of tape here, and we'll do one more here. So now I have my shark. And I'm gonna put my shark in the back of my couch here. <laughs> and I can sit and it's going to eat my head while I zoom. <laughs> See you next time.